Hey folks, we're talking about accountability and how you can increase the accountability on your team. As a quick recap, accountability is all about receiving the consequences of your actions or your efforts. And the tip that I want to share with you right now is don't just think about things you can do to increase accountability, but be aware of things you might be actively doing or behaviors you might have without knowing it that decrease accountability. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's look at an example. Say I've given Suzanne a task and I've told her that I believe that you can answer all the questions that need to be answered around this or solve all of the problems. You can do it. You can accomplish this task. I believe in you. And then I say, go to it. Well, if I haven't given her enough of an explanation or enough information around that task that she's not able to necessarily answer those questions or solve those problems, then even though I feel as though I've empowered her and I'm holding her accountable because I've given her lots of room to make decisions, she doesn't have the information that she actually needs to do the task I've given to her. So I think I've increased the accountability, but I'm doing something else that's decreasing accountability. So not only do I have to say that I trust in her ability to make decisions and solve problems, I also have to make sure that I give her enough information related to the task so that she can in fact answer questions and solve problems without me needing to necessarily step in. So in order to increase accountability, you also have to think about what behaviors you might have that are decreasing accountability. Now go lead.